All right. So we always hear that we shouldn't stack uh, American bullion. And I'm not a big fan of that. I used to be, but I'm not a big fan of that. And I'll tell you why here in a few minutes. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, Thanks for tuning in today. I got a controversial one today, probably. But uh, my latest thing is, is it's everybody is still saying that we shouldn't buy American bullion. And I've said that on occasions as well. I've made a few of those videos myself. And you got to forgive me. I am wearing gloves today. My hands are are trashed. And, And I get it. The premiums are extremely high. And it's not very beneficial for you. If you're buying them right now at these high premiums, you're just going to lose money. It's a waste of money. Uh, you should be buying generics instead, you know, or or you should be buying uh, your Canadian maples, right? Or you should be buying uh, your gold maples, right? And uh, if you are wondering, yes, this is a clear capsule, and you can you can use a Kennedy half dollar capsule. It'll work. It'll work fine. Uh, just figure that out myself. So yeah, I'm pretty cheap. I didn't want to just pay for shipping for one capsule. So yeah, there you go. So another thing you'll hear is, you know, people say, Hey, you should buy the Britannias. Uh, they're a lot cheaper and, uh, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're cost effective. Well, the thing about the Britannias is that I don't like is as far as the silver goes is, the milk spot issues and some people say well you, you know you got it in the air it doesn't matter you know if it's going to milk spot it's going to milk spot uh look at there it's torn up with milk and this is brand new by the way brand new and it came to me like this it came to me with uh scratches and dents and dings all over it and that's just poor quality and uh i just you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna stockpile a bunch of those if i can help it now Obviously, American bullion, it's got its issues as well, right? We all know that. Uh, they they milk spot too. They, you know, they tone or whatnot. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, as far as the benefits, I think the benefits outweigh the negatives. And the reason why I say that is, is, is experience. I've bought and sold, bought and sold, bought and sold. And the reason why I do so is because, well, if it benefits my stack in some way or if it benefits me financially uh, to to buy the Gold Eagles, right? My my local coin store, they'll buy them no matter what. Uh, doesn't matter. Any day of the week that they're open, they buy them. Same thing with the Silver Eagles. They don't care. They want as many of those as they can get. So stacking those, it's... It takes a priority for me, and it's something that I need to refocus on. I have been buying uh, a lot of these maples, and I think I might have enough for now. Um, I will continue to buy the RCM 10-ounce bars. Those are excellent, excellent choices. And I know that these are pretty plain and boring, right? Whenever you get something like uh, the Perth Mint, take for instance... Uh, These two right here. Let's see if I can do this. Take, for instance, these two right here. It's a half ounce and a two ounce tiger. And these are these are beautiful, Uh, truly pieces of of art. If you ask me The the hue that you get off of these and the glow is, is phenomenal. And they're very affordable whenever you first whenever they first come out. But as they get released, they usually go up in in price quite a bit and just for comparison uh the two ounce gold coin is comparable to the one ounce gold eagle so just just to give you a little bit of a comparison there if you want to mix it up and make it seem uh like you're getting something different right getting some extra value right or getting some some extra collectability with your stack absolutely this is another one of my favorite i wish the canadian mint would would release these every year i haven't seen them in a couple years now these are the lucky dragons from the royal canadian mint and i wish they'd come out with some more of these come on guys you know put out the gold and put out the silver man we'll buy the hell out of them i promise you 
another thing that Perth does is they come out with these Lunar Mists every year and Mists and Dragons every year, and they are fantastic. I'll probably do this every year. I'll probably grab, I'm not going to go back and get them, but I'll probably grab these every year in the silver and in the gold just because it's different, right? But the benefits, you know, to stacking these, that's more of a collector thing. Uh, having a solid base of gold eagles and uh, silver eagles to me is more important than having a base of nothing but collectibles. I like to do both. I like to have a little mix. And I always see people making videos saying, don't buy these. They're well, way overpriced. Uh, there's there's no reason for you to buy these. But at the same point, people buy the hell out of Libertads, which are even more expensive. I get it. Those are semi-numismatic. I get it. But it's the same concept. Uh, it's a bullion coin. Uh, they're released for a bullion price. But yet, there's never any huge uproar about uh, Libertads. I guess, you know, they do have features on them that you can't get anywhere else. That's neither here nor there. But I do like uh, to mix it up. I do like to get collectible stuff. And would I have liked to have gotten the one ounce version of the rabbit and the two ounce version? Yeah, but it's just, I don't know. It's just not going to. Uh, I'll, I'll look into it later this year. How about that? Uh, I'm still missing the Lunar Mouse from that series, by the way. But as far as stacking American Bullion, I'm a fan of it. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. I love these Eagles. They just feel good in the hand. They look good. Uh, I have seen some videos of people, you know, saying how how bad they are and you shouldn't stack them. And, and like I said, I've made those videos myself. But as we can see the past two years, nothing's changing. The the price on them, it's not coming down. Uh, the premiums aren't coming down. So if you like American bullion and you want to stick with American bullion and you like sovereign coins, same thing with gold eagles, same thing with the uh, with your gold buffaloes, right? Uh, stack, stack American bullion if you like it. If you're in another country, really doesn't make sense for you to do so. Uh, this is mainly for the American stackers. But like me, I, I love and prefer my American bullion. So I'm going to stack the hell out of it. All right. It's, it's like I said, it's always worked for me whenever I've had to go and resell. Never had a problem getting rid of any of it. It's just liquid. It's so liquid. It's just like having cash. And we all know how important that is in strange times. I may just get a regular bullion price for this whenever I go to sell it. Right. My LCS may say, well, I you know, it doesn't bother me. You know, I don't care how few they were minted. Same thing goes with um, uh, with with anything else that I have in my stack. He may not want it. He may not be able to sell it, right? So, just look at it that way. Sure, you can stack generic, right? <laughs> you can stack all the generic you can get. But for me, guys, it's all about having that liquid stack and having that way of unloading it if I needed to. And that's what it's all about for me. So uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. Appreciate you watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And keep grinding on your stack.